everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing episode 2 of my revamp series. In case you missed out on episode 1, my revamp series is a series where we make over or revamp ordinary objects to be extraordinarily gothy. Today's episode is brought to you by Sun. Yes, the glorious sun that us gothy people and vampires alike do not enjoy. So to help protect your little eyeballs, we are going to be doing a revamp of some sunglasses. So I went to Target and bought myself two different pairs of sunglasses. And I'll show you what they look like now. So this was the first pair that I found. And honestly, they look almost exactly like the Killstar ones with the moons on the corners. And I'll pop up a picture here so you can kind of see what they look like. But they're the same round shape. They have like a purpley gray lens. And the only difference I saw was the bridge and then the fact that it's a Killstar on the side here. Obviously the moons. But uh, those glasses, charged, they charge like, what, $24 for? And these were $17 at Target. And um, that's pretty much much it's going to cost me because I already have all the stuff I want to remake it with here. I'll show you what these look like on. Voila. I don't know how I feel about round glasses, but I want to try and get into them. So I bought these ones. And then I also wanted to make a very flamboyant pair, one that was very gaudy and in your face because uh, I've been watching a lot of Elton John stuff and he has some really cool just out there glasses and I kind of wanted to make my own. Will I be wearing them? Who knows? I might not have the guts to wear them out, but gosh darn it, I want to make some. So I thought these would make a lovely base for a more crazy uh, sunglass look. See what these look like on. I think these look really nice on their own. <laughs> these ones were $14.99 at Target, so they were cheaper than the round ones. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. <laughs> so these are the two pairs of sunglasses that we're gonna make over together today. Let's head down to my floor and uh, I'll show you all the objects I have and then we'll kind of brainstorm together how we want these two pairs of sunglasses to be revamped. Well, hello to my floor. So I'm going to show you guys first the objects that everyone will need if they want to also participate in this revamp episode. The obvious things you're going to need are some sunglasses that you like. And then I would recommend using E6000 glue because I don't think hot glue would really do a good job of keeping whatever you're planning on decorating your sunglasses with on since you'll be wearing them and you'll be putting them like maybe in your purse and knocking them around. So I don't think glue would, hot glue would withstand uh, the test of time <laughs> if you want to actually wear these sunglasses out. And then you may need some pliers or wire cutters depending on what you're going to be decorating your sunglasses with. And then I'm also going to be using isopropyl alcohol and some cotton pads. Uh, just to clean my glasses first and get them prepped and ready to go before we even glue anything on. Now let's move on to the more fun things that we're going to maybe be decorating these sunglasses with. So I just have some pearls. I have this um, necklace like pendant thing that I got a long time ago from Michaels. I thought this would be kind of fun to maybe like take apart and use as m for my more flamboyant uh, or ornate pair of sunglasses. Then I have this big thing of glow-in-the-dark bones. I think these might be fun because even though you don't wear sunglasses at night, it might just be kind of fun to wear these outside and then if this does glow-in-the-dark, like when you put it in your purse, you'll see it glow-in-the-dark in your purse and that's... who could be not more excited than that? Come on. Glow-in-the-dark stuff is my favorite. Then if you want more of like a fun Halloween theme, I brought out these little pumpkins and like candy corn that you could maybe use to decorate it. I have a variety of rhinestones and then these Swarovski crystals that are flat back to put on it. These probably would look so pretty in the sunlight. Then there are these fake skulls. These I got at Joann's. You can still get them. They have these white ones and then they also have like really colorful ones. 
Then I have these resin pieces that I made. So I got really pretty purple sparkly bats. I got some white bats. Some black bats. These really cool crosses. One I made just black and the other one is red. And then I have a little Victorian hand that I've made. And then there's just an ordinary skull. And then I have this uh, really random jewelry that I got for free. So my idea with like showing you guys this was in case you guys have necklaces that you don't really wear anymore or you're not really a big fan of but could have a cool potential, um, you could, you know, grab it and then just take it apart and use it the, as a decoration for other things. And the last couple of ideas I had were to actually use real bones instead of uh, these fake ones. We could use real ones. I got a lot of them, so I have ones that look kind of similar to that one. They're just coyote bones. And then I made a lot of these coffin shaped fake gem stone things and I figured I could probably donate a couple to uh, make this DIY. So now that we've gone through all the possible ideas of objects we could use to decorate our sunglasses with, let me flip you down here so we can kind of come up with some ideas together on what we should do with them and how we should decorate them. I have some ideas, but we're going to go with a couple different options just to make sure that I really like those ideas and I don't come up with something a little better. So let's come on, come on, come down here. Come on, let's go, let's go down here. Okay, so you don't really be seeing me that much now. Um, so here are the two pairs of sunglasses. I am going to go ahead and take off these tags and then I'm also going to take uh, my isopropyl alcohol and clean them off real quick. So that's what I'm, I'm gonna do. I have completely cleaned off my glasses so now we have a perfect base to start uh, figuring out the decoration. I am going to start with this pair of sunglasses because this is the one that's going to be more simplistic so I figured we'll start off simple and work our way up to dramatic. <laughs> So I have a couple of ideas of what I want to do with the more simple pair of glasses. I either want to do what Killstar did and put something at the very corners of the glasses here or possibly instead of something on the glasses, something on the side or something a little bit more dramatic but still not that out there. Just decorating with something all around the edge of the lens. So let's kind of uh, brainstorm here. If I have these resin pieces, let's see what like maybe some bats at the corners is going to look like. So I'm kind of leaning towards the purple ones because I think they are super duper cute. So I don't care about the size being the same. I just want the color to be the same. So let's see about these two at the corners. That could be cute. Maybe. Let's see if I did decide to do two different color bats, but have them be the same size. These are itty bitty bitty ones. Do you like these little teeny tiny ones at the corners? Good. Maybe these could be on the sides. This could be a little bit more dramatic. We did the crosses at the corners. My other thought is maybe putting these bones all along the outside like that. Do we see the vision? Do we see it? Maybe put a little bat in the top and then edge around the bats with the bones, maybe? Maybe, maybe? You know, I like the idea with the bones edging around uh, the glasses of the bat. Maybe. Maybe. So now I'm just gonna try and figure out how I want to lay it out, but I'm definitely going to be using the bones to Go all the way around, or at least all the way around, maybe except for maybe a little bat at the top.
Okay, now that we've got the more simple ones figured out, let's go to the dramatic pair of sunglasses and try and figure out how I want to lay this bad boy out. So I think I definitely want to use um, some of these Swarovski crystals because I just want something to shine super bright outside. And I definitely want to use this in some way. So I'm going to take this apart and then we'll kind of figure out how to put it on because this is gold and this does match the gold on the side of the glasses. So I think it would look really good together. So I'm just going to take it apart with some pliers. Well, I'm back. So I finally was able to take apart that uh, little necklace pendant thing, whatever you want to call it. So this middle piece I don't plan on using, so she's going to go over here. And then uh, these two pieces that were on the edges, I'm going to put, I think right here. I think that would look really cool on the edges. And then to balance it, I'm trying to figure out what I should put on the top here because I feel like... That is a lot on the sides, and we need to balance it. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe we could use these Sororski crystals, maybe, and put them at the top. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so right now I just have them upside down because I was trying to make sure I could see what it looks like without all my fingers being in the way. So luckily they've balanced on the little tiny little lip that is there. Um, so there's the red. Here is the dark pinkish maroon color. So if you compare that with the gold. Hmm. What color? Do you have these plastic red ones and these are less expensive which may be better there hmm yeah you know what i think i'm just gonna use these plastic ones even though they don't shine as nicely outside that just might work out better uh, maybe i might use a couple of these red ones and put them on the lace part and that way i could still get that really really pretty shine from the Swarovski crystals because they do shine quite nicely in the sun, let me tell you. Uh, compared to these ones, you can definitely tell the difference between the plastic ones and then the normal Swarovski ones. So I think what I'm going to do is use these for the edge and then maybe sprinkle some of the red ones onto the lace part. Do we like that idea? Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna maybe do a time lapse if I can figure out how to do that. Otherwise, I'll be back. Alright you guys, are you ready to see the final reveal? This one, I think we should name this something skeleton-y. The Crypt, maybe? I don't know. Is that a good name? Then here is our very, very ornate glasses. Ooh. Ah. Uh, e. That's it. I'm not going. 
think these ones should be named something like cathedral or something that's like religious in a way. If you have any good names for either one of these, let me know down below. I'm thinking Crypt and Cathedral. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing how my two sunglasses turned out. Um, let me know down below which one is your favorite, the more extravagant one or the more simplistic one. And if you guys do end up revamping your own pair of sunglasses, please share it with me on my Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, whatever you have as a social media site. I'd love for you to share it with me. If you guys have any ideas for any future revamp episodes, please let me know. I really hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, and until my next video, 